Welcome back, YouTube. This is uh, the second half of uh, a stream. Okay. Well, uh, we're currently uh, we're like half an hour away from the final trailer. They're calling it like game gameplay trailer, so it's gonna air in in half an hour. It's three minutes, so. We'll uh, check that out once that goes live. So there'll be a bit of a... It's not really a, an intermission. The VOD's not going to stop, but I will watch that here. But I will cut that segment out and publish it separately as well. Um, but yeah, I was just talking about tea. I made some tea. And just saying it's winter here in Australia. And I, I realized that doesn't mean much. It's like to some that's summer. If you wanted to throw a smurf ice pop at me, in which direction on the continent should you throw it? What, Australia? Um, I mean, I'm in Melbourne, so that's like... Southeast? It's like, uh, the southern... Not the southernmost point, but the southernmost state. In Australia, the Australian mainland. It's like 10 Celsius in springtime. Yeah, you know what? I guess you can relate. That's that springtime is <laughs> more or less our winter. Uh One of these days, I, w I will experience a, a real winter. I just have to try my best not to get hospitalized. As uh, I've heard slipping on ice is, is like a rite of passage. <laughs> Launching it. Alright, I mean, how, sh how long should I wait? What's the, what's the flight time on, on that, that Smurf ice pop? It's kind of wild that they still do stuff for the Smurfs. I thought the Smurfs just... That can't be... Jeez, that looks painful. Yeah, but I didn't know the Smurfs were still around. You sprained your ankle slipping on ice before. I've heard many ice stories. Definitely not a fun time. I can't relate in the slightest, but you know, the Australian equivalent is uh, getting burnt. <laughs> Ooh, this is new. I will see it. It'll hit me if I don't expect it. Alright. Noted. Had a dude shatter his face on the curb because he was walking with grocery bags and then slipped. Ugh. Sucks. 71. Okay, so if you're saying Fahrenheit, then it's coming from the direction of America. Like, that's, that's just a dead giveaway. You're not talking in Celsius. Well, it's not- I guess it's not truly winter, it's fall at the moment. Or autumn, whatever you want to call it. Like, I, I guess I'm exaggerating. It's not winter, but it's not summer. <laughs> I guess that's the point, is like... The weather... Allows me to have tea. Yeah. Whoops, no, we need to we need to get rid of this. I don't want to accidentally lose lose this. What am I even using? I guess this. Yeah. 
you drink tea all year round. Yeah, but does it get to 45 Celsius? Or does it even get above 30 Celsius? Oh, this sword is, a, is almost gone as well. How often does it get above 30? Yeah. Chat, you know what my you know what my mom used to do? I think she still does it. But um and look, I I understand I understand the science behind that. I understand that warm drinks make you sweat and therefore, you know, cool you down. There's a science behind it, but but listen. When it is 40 degrees Celsius, you imagine getting home from school. And, you know, you see on the stovetop that your mother is making soup. And you're going to have soup, very hot soup, when it's 40 degrees Celsius outside. You're not exactly enthusiastic about the, the premise of it. And she always made soup when it was hot. <laughs> Just a habit. In winter, saw... Soup, not that often. Summer, soup everywhere. And I get, I understand why, but I'm, I'm not enthusiastic about it. It's, it's not the best feeling. I don't know. I just, ugh. I don't like, I don't like the concept of having something really hot when it's hot. But I understand that it, there is there is merit to it. I will concede that. But that doesn't mean that I have to like it. You don't do hot food if it's that hot outside. Do cold cuts or a barbecue. Right. Yeah, cooking inside when it's hot. Also, ah, uh, iced tea is good. Well, iced tea is different. It's very different. That's not, it's not the same thing. Talking about like, you know, boiling, hot. I do like my iced tea. Why is it any time I want to climb anything this happens? I suppose I should be thankful because one of the reasons, like... I can cook. Uh, I'm alright as a cook. But one of the reasons I got to that point was simply because in summer, when soup would be made, I'd be like, I'm- no, I, I need to make something else. Like, I can't- I can't eat this. It's too hot outside. So I would make something. I just want to comb these these mountains and just make sure that... I guess I should go across to the other one. The other one's the one that I haven't really explored that much. This is all in the name of the Koroks. The Yahahas. Unfortunately, it's kind of a, a bad time to be doing this. But come on, if if it was as hot as I'm describing, what would your go-to drink be? Like, you might enjoy tea, but would it would that really be your first choice? And don't don't say cold tea or like iced tea. I'm talking about hot tea, hot tea. Would that be your first choice when it's forty degrees Celsius or a hundred and twenty something Fahrenheit? If I'm doing my co conversion correctly. Best food in summer, cold melon all day, all night. For me, because we have access to it, uh, mangoes. Put them in the freezer for a bit. Ugh. And they come out nice and cold. Very refreshing.
they are quite good. How goes the madness? I mean, I've only died once tonight, so I, I think it's pretty successful so far. I did complicate a puzzle a little bit beforehand, but that's fine. Now I'm just, you know, trying to climb. You go to drink his water, then that's fine. That's, it's not, it's not hot tea, is it? Frozen key without the peel. I think any kind of frozen fruit's pretty good. But me, I don't eat much fruit. But the fruits that I do eat, you know. It comes in the context of summer, typically. There's one thing that I uh, used to do quite a bit. My aunt used to do this primarily, but... Um, just get a banana, put it on a stick, and then just dip it in chocolate. And put it in the freezer. So I had those quite a bit growing up. Try to eat fruits every day to balance the nuggy addiction. <laughs> that is fair. Very good idea. I think I need to start to be better about that stuff. Because, I mean, I'm starting to get to that age where I should start being a bit more, uh, I wouldn't say worried, but just aware of, uh, of diet and balance. You have to have fries with nugs so you get vegetable. <laughs> There's a lot of people that'll say fries don't count as, as vegetable intake. I mean, they do, but it's just... Honestly, the, the way that I get vegetables is I, I love my, my stir fries and uh, noodle dishes. I can I can have stir fries with minimal meat. Cause they just they just taste good. Lost four pounds in two weeks by cutting high calorie, low hunger satiation foods. What kind of foods? Out of interest. I mean I've I've heard a big one if you want to lose weight is just watch sugar. Cause you'd be surprised how many things have sugar. Some of the gotchas are like some things that say they're low fat, but then the way they add flavor is by salt or sugar. A pizza. It's like 1100 for an entire pizza. Eat it in one sitting. Okay. That's fair. I think the worst thing I, I, I eat currently is, is fried chicken. As delicious as it is, I am aware of how, how bad it is. But I mean, other than that, I'm not that big on sugary stuff. I mean, if I get a soda or a soft drink, whatever you want to call it, it's typically something that just has like, you know, one of the zero sugar variants. Yeah. 
I mean, what definitely messed me up was just the, the pandemic. Before the pandemic, I was getting pretty frequent exercise, and I was looking after myself a bit more, but... Man, those those two years, especially the five months in lockdown, ugh. Well, that one time it was five months, but collectively it was 260 days. So. It did mess me up quite a bit. Oh, good. Hang on. Probably shouldn't have done that. Don't like the taste of sweeteners. Yeah. There are some artificial sweeteners in certain drinks I just don't like. They just taste weird. Coke Zero is probably the one that I have the most because it's the one that... It doesn't... It's not as egregious as other ones. But I've been having more water than anything else as of late, so... Baby steps. To kind of... Not want soda. It's, I've been having, uh... Sparkling water. So then it has, like, the bubble. The bubbles, at least. And then it's none of the other stuff, so... But then eventually I'll, I'll wean off that and just stick to water. Where is this Korok? Ah, there it is. I was going to say, it's probably one of these ones that... I need more arrows. But, you know, the other thing is, I I was doing juice for a while, but ju <laughs> because I get it, it's sugars at the end of the day. It's like, it can be just as bad having a lot of juice, even though it might, it's kind of deceiving. It's like, it, it, you think it's the healthier option because, oh, it's fruit. It's like, fruit is healthy. We've, all, we've been taught in school, yeah, eat fruit because it's healthy. It's like, eat fruit in moderation. You can't have a lot of it. It's just... Sugar. <laughs> it's bad. Oh cool, I got my arrow back. False, what's false? That juice is bad or that juice has a lot of sugar? It's good for the nutrition. Juice is bad, very bad. Yeah. I've- I've learnt that. Speaking with, uh... I learnt that a long time ago, by the way, not recently. This was, like, in my 20s. I had a friend that, uh, became a personal trainer, nutritionist, whatever you want to call it. And they were like, no, 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 juice is horrible, dude. Don't- don't overdo it on the juice. Yeah, pretty much, if you wanna... I wouldn't say easy way, but definitely something where you'll notice a difference is just... You'd be surprised what has sugar in it, and sugar is just one of those things that... It's bad. Okay, we got ten minutes before the, uh... This trailer drops, so... I'm keeping an eye on it. Sugar causes cravings and dependency. It, yeah, it can. Crap. How many how many is this? I don't think I have the arrows for this. That's one. That's two. I don't want to waste the arrows if I don't have the arrows. This is more this is more than two. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna have to mark this one. 
I am a bit far away from where I, I should be. Um, okay. Where's the stable? Stable's over there. I'm gonna see if I can run into Beetle at the stable. Stop eating snacks if you weren't actually hungry. Yeah, that's another one, is just excessive snacks. The other thing that I read is, like, sometimes your body makes you think you're hungry, but sometimes it's just you're dehydrated, and it's... It's like a very similar sensation. Not sure how much truth there is to that, but... Heard that too, yeah. Wish you could stop drinking soda. Yeah. Well, is it is it specifically Coke that's helping, or is it just the carbonation? Specifically Coke. Fair enough. They say if you're hungry, drink, drink water and see if you're still hungry. Yeah. I've been doing that a lot. That's why I always have a bottle of water, and I mean, you hear me say it, it's like, let me go refill my bottle of water. Um, because, yeah, I guess I was, I was eating food pretty late sometimes, and that's probably why. Oh, beetles here, sweet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah! It's Little John. Okay! Sorry. That's- that's probably like a- an old joke. People, some people are gonna be like, what- who- who is Little John? Who is this Little John? Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? Yeah, I got plenty. Meat and rice bowl, sure. <laughs> it's a good one, it has attack. You always drink one liter of water immediately after waking up. It helps a lot with hydration. I'm not... Yeah, I mean, I, I I definitely go through, I don't know, at least two to three liters a day, if not more. Late snacking is not good. Try try not to eat past seven. Same. Um, the only exception is if, you know, I'm good... Sometimes I'll... I'll do a night where I'm playing games or hanging out, and then, you know, I'll have snacks when I'm chilling and playing games and hanging out. It doesn't happen often, but when I, when I do a game night, then, yeah. I might have stuff, but other than that. Sorry, just having some of my tea. Okay. I'll take them all. Yay. Take them all. <laughs> Octo balloons are also very good. Yeah, yeah. Definitely want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. This is the only thing I would think when he would say that. Okay, uh, we got, like, about five minutes, so I'll try to head back up there. Yeah, I, for me, breakfast... It's one of those things where I, I would like to have it. But... More often than not, I just, I usually skip it. Ooh, that was close. That was almost a death. Wow. I'm risking my life with this photo. Um, but I mean, typically in a day, I'll have one 
largish meal, and then the rest is it's just pretty minimal. Oh, come on. Already have enough to deal with. Where am I even going? Okay, this is the right direction. I need to climb... What's the quickest way up? Everybody wants a piece of Link. Really? Which one is this referring to? Oh, I think I remember this one. I mean, you know, it's fine. I wanted to do the shrines in this area and everything. Oh, come on! Would have to be in this direction. Oh, cool. This is this is awake now. Ooh, it's got a thunder blade. Okay, but you know, I don't, I don't want to fight it. <laughs> I want the bear to fight it. At some point, I will have to go into Hyrule Castle and get the shield. That's gonna be a fun journey. I could almost do it now if I really wanted to. Oh, crap. Is this thing still chasing me? Kind of. Oh, shit. Am I, am I safe here? Uh, chat, am I, am I safe here? Seventy-one, never. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm safe now. Okay, it's midnight. Good timing. I'm gonna go down here, but let me just set this up while it goes down there. I'm fine. See, I didn't die. You have to believe in me a bit more. Okay. Now, yeah, this is the final gameplay trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, so... It's only three minutes long. All right, then. Let's take... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm... I'm... Please enjoy being very quick.
There we go. Perfect timing. Um, very potato quality. Let me... Why does it default to that? Alright, cool. This is uh, recorded from a live stream later, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube. Just figured I'd point it out. Okay, different clothing this time, I think. Oh, this music, dude. Ooh, look at this. They're rebuilding Hyrule. Okay, so now we're seeing a bit more of the differences between what we're seeing right now. <laughs> Is this... What was that that we just saw in the desert? Chat. These these look like dungeons. These look like dungeons. Zelda. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Link. <laughs> Was that a shield sword? Oh, wow. No, okay, look, the- yeah. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival. And the birth of a oh. new world. Side on, fish bro. You are our final hope. Yes, real Ganondorf and uh Those look like dungeons. And those bosses look like traditional Zelda you bosses. Must find me. Less than a month away, chat. <laughs> My body is ready. That was that was worth watching. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was three whole minutes, sir. So. Even, even if they're not fully fledged dungeons, they do look like dungeons, by the way. Like, just, from what they showed there, it looks like something's gonna happen in the Gerudo Desert. Something's gonna rise out of the sand. And it just looks like there's gonna be, there's gonna be dungeons one way or another. Even, even if, like, there's only two the size of Hyrule Castle, that's still, that's still a big deal. And I'm okay if there's only two bit, like, aside from Hyrule Castle, there's another two, and then the rest are just large sky islands that, are, I guess, effectively form a dungeon. 
that's still that's still good. It's way more interesting than having four divine beasts that are more or less the same functionally. This trailer was definitely meant to squash the DLC comments. Absolutely, yeah. I think you know, I I myself has have been saying this as just, you know, I was kind of worried because up until this point we haven't really known much about what we're doing in this game. And I think now yeah, this is going to be great. I I thought it was going to be good, but this is uh this is certainly looking like a huge step up. So can't wait. It's less than a month away. Anyway, uh, that's the live reaction thing. I'm going to cut this segment out and put it separately on YouTube. But of course, you know, this is part of the VOD for me playing Breath of the Wild. Which, by the way, is uh, being published on a sort of daily basis on YouTube if you're not watching that playthrough. So I'll be doing that up until when this releases. And of course, before this, I did play through every other Zelda game except one. So... You can always check that out here on the VODs channel. Alright, bye YouTube. That is bye YouTube watching this particular segment. I'll have to cut this out later. <laughs> Alright. And now, back to uh, back to our game. By the way, chat is go in YouTube is going absolutely fucking ballistic. So, I think it's, it's safe to say, uh, yeah. People uh, took this trailer pretty well. Nintendo actually listening to fans, 1080p, 60 hand, 60 FPS handheld incoming. I mean, look, remember that time I was making fun of them not putting Game Boy on Nintendo Switch and then literally the next day they did? I have the power to summon such things. I just have to make fun of them enough. Oh yeah, right, I, I forgot to, uh, hold up. Anyway, I didn't need it to mute, it's okay. I thought I muted it, but I didn't. It's all good. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna definitely rewatch that trailer again. Also, did anyone else feel like they they recognized the voice actor for Ganon? I feel like I've heard that voice before, but I can't put my finger on it. Wasn't there rumors about a new Switch coming up? There's been a rumor about a new Switch coming up for the last four years. But logically, yeah, they should be... They should be talking about a new one. The console is six years old. And my prediction is by the end of the year they will say something, and then maybe next year release it. It's- it's that time. It, the, the, this thing is six years old. I'd- I'd be surprised if they didn't announce it within the next year. The rumors have been constant, yeah. But I think we're kind of at the point where, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty likely that they'll say something soon. Wait, how much is this one? This one's eight- they're both 18. Oh no, this is 16. Alright, never mind. Just keep this one. Yeah, I mean, I would expect something within the next year. The Guardian Shield is super fragile. Okay. But it has the power to, uh, to deflect beam. You know, I didn't know that some of these shields had attributes, like this one, if you parry, it does damage, so I, 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 to be honest, I never knew that. <laughs> because I just don't use, I don't really use shields. Aside from, you know, trying to deflect the beam. Uh, it's good because it's not metal. Yeah, I have the ancient shield for that, though. Didn't I kill a guardian with a pot lid? I mean... Um, not a fully mobile guardian, but technically, yeah, it was one that was on the ground and I did deflect the beam with the pot lid and it was the very first one I came across. So I was surprised I pulled that off given I hadn't done it in multiple years.
it was impressive it was a first try. It almost faked me out. I still got it. I mean, I swung once and, you know, missed, but then I managed to swing again at the right moment, so... Yeah, that was, uh... Man, I, I definitely want to watch that trailer again, but I'll do that later. There was just so, so much that happened in just three minutes. Surprise I succeeded considering it's master mode. I mean, it's not the first time I've played master mode. I was aware that they, they try to trick you with the timing. Listen, my credentials for this are everything that I'm talking about doing, I've done before, including Trial of the Sword on Master Mode, so. I'm capable. I need the chest, don't I? Yeah. This is one of these ones where I have to unlock it first. Where is chest? There it is. I'm not the best player, but, you know. I'm skilled enough where I can get through this. Skilled slash stubborn enough. Because <laughs> you have to be a little stubborn to get through Trial of the Sword on Master Mode. How did I have it before? Yeah, like this. There we go. I mean, that should work, right? It should be okay. Even though it's not at the edge, I can still access it. I need to finish my tea. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna... It's gonna be at a bad temperature. Okay. What day is... what day is May 12? Just out of interest. That's a Friday. Oh, that's good. Is it a green one? Uh, it's a... it's a herbal tea, so... What is it? It's like... Lemon, lavender... It's rose, and it's very floral. Um... I get my tea from, I think that they're Australian. Uh, they're a company called T2, uh, the letter T number two. They do very good tea and uh, they, they are available in other countries. Like I believe you can get them in the UK and America, if I'm not mistaken, but I recommend they also sell a lot of, uh, brewing stuff that's, uh, pretty decent.
Not sponsored. <laughs> Just, I genuinely like that tea. It's, uh, what do they call it? It's like, it's called Sleep Tight. That's what the tea is called. They have gift packs. They do, yeah. The physical stores are pretty nice. Okay, let's have a look at the map here. Alright. Babinga. Let's have a look at this forest. There's probably a few Korok here. Early Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. You sure? I, I swear... Hang on. Yeah, they have an American branch. Oh no, they closed. They closed physical locations in America, but you can still shop via the global website. So you can deliver to the United States. Oh no, see if you click view locate if you click view locations under that drop down, so Australia, New Zealand, uh United Ab Arab Emirates, UK, US, Iceland, Switzerland, Canada, uh, Singapore, China, Fiji, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, and the list goes on. There's more coffee drinkers here than tea. I mean, here it's a pretty even split. We have a, a pretty big coffee culture. But people do like their tea as well, because, I mean, we're... We are a, uh, a British colony, after all. Sorry, don't apologize. <laughs> I was just surprised, because... Then, you know, I need to stop recommending it to people, <laughs> if it's not actually available. So I just wanted to be sure, that's all. Wasn't able to read. I mean, to be fair, you had to click a button. It wasn't like it was visible right away, so honest mistake. It's like before how I was like, hmm, it would be nice if you could select all the photos in your Switch album and delete them. And then, you know, that feature was there. All I needed to do was press a button to access the menu to show it, so... I made a similar mistake. I'm human. I need to get back to that hill. Okay, I can't do this yet because I'm being harassed by by these. Where's the other one? Oh no, that, that was finger slip. I'm gonna go get those arrows before they despawn. <laughs> Where are they? Where are my arrows? Oh come on, they kind of disappeared already.
Apparently no Europe? Really? It's weird because the UK does appear in that list. Unless it's on the list and you can't r really do anything. I did say UK. I, it's there. I mean, I didn't click it, but view locations. And then international. Yeah, United Kingdom, there. And then you click it. Let me try adding something to cart. I mean, the pricing's in AUD, but let's just see. International delivery. Yeah, so they do do it. Yeah, I was just able to add something to cart, and there's international delivery as an option. I mean... No Europe. There is, There are a couple of European countries, but it's not all of Europe. There's not that many European countries. Maybe I should have clarified, but... Thought is a Twitch that is from Germany, don't know why. Fair enough. I mean, there are people from Germany here. So, the confusion is valid, it's... <laughs> ah! Nope, I'm, I'm... Okay, but I can see where these landed. Why would my... Ugh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Someone in Europe needs to create a country called the United... S the United States of Europe. I mean, isn't that the EU, effectively? I found my arrows. Oh, no. Just... If you do go to that website, just click the drop-down. It'll have the list of countries. I'm so bad at this. Okay, there's one. Alright, let me... There's the next spot. <laughs> Got scared there for a sec. It's okay, I mean... I've had this bow for a long time. It's about time it broke. Ah, oh, I'll go get that arrow. Okay, this has two opportunities. There we go. Eh, I mean, I missed once. It's okay. I don't know if this is worth risking it. Alright, where am I? How long till I grab a Savage Lionel bow? I mean, it'll happen eventually.
In order to do that, I need, I need to make sure. I mean, I'm gonna lose this weapon, so I need a couple more weapons. I know, I know, like you say that jokingly, but I, I will fight that thing. I'm not afraid of it. I think the best confusion in terms of uh, places is when you have the country of Georgia and then you have the state of Georgia in America. That is, uh, that is a level of confusion right there. I'm just glad a lot of Australian places are distinct enough in name that uh, it doesn't happen too often. I mean, there's some that are shared with, with the UK, because it's like British naming, but then there are things that are just straight up Australian. I forget what, what the optimal way to do this is, but there's there's a certain radius and then you just kind of zigzag across the land. I will walk to the, each of these because I can make ancient arrows later, so... What is a town in Australia you'll have a hard time pronouncing? Okay. How do you pronounce this? I wrote it in chat. Don't, like, don't have to phonetically type it. Okay, so you think it's Wagga Wagga. Uh, it's Wagga Wagga. I mean, this one shouldn't stump people. I've talked about this one before, but this one shouldn't stump people from the UK, because this is like UK. UK rules here. Um, but you know, I just wrote out Cockburn. That's not how it's pronounced, it's uh, Coburn. There's, there's more egregious ones. Beep. Hang on, I need to... <sighs> I need to find the list. Can I say Massa Massapequa? Hup. Hup. 
I mean, it depends the rules that I, I follow. Like, if that's meant to be read as English, or if it's meant to be read kind of like Spanish. But, I just read it like English. Okay, what about this one? I spelt C A I R N S. That's that's a name of a city in Australia. Silent Eye? I'm not gonna say anything. Cerns? Oh, you're thinking that the C is like a, a sir sound? Chens? Okay. It's pronounced cans. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't have my shield out. Oh wait, did I? No, it's fine. Wait, what about this one? That one, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, the funny thing is I know that brand. There's a brand that has that exact name. But like, I don't know. If I was to take a guess, it's like Hot Page or something like that. Like, but probably wrong. Hog Pog. Hog Pog? Okay. Pog Pog. All right, gotcha. Okay, I got a long one for you. This one is this one is definitely like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'll I'll be amazed if someone gets this one. So I spell M O O L O O L A B A. I think even I I have problems, but I know generally how it's pronounced. Someone that lives there can correct me, but you know I I know the trick to it. So you think it's Muluba? Okay. Anyone else want to guess? This one, I think, is stumping more. I haven't come across any more Koroks here, so... I think I've zigzagged enough. Alright, well that one is Malulaba. Even though it, it says, uh... Moo, it's ma. Like almost like McDonald's, but it's Malulaba. Okay. 
that's weird. But definitely distinctly Australian. And then, you know, there's where I am, right? Americans will say Melbourne, but it's uh, Melbourne. How about this one? Ooh, see, that one I, I would not guess. But, uh, I mean, it's spelt Matatuck, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it's pronounced. Probably some trick to it. Ah! No, that was it, really? Okay, cool. No, so. I mean, sometimes there's no trick to it. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna increase the death count, but you know. If, if I didn't die so much yesterday, I'd be attempting to parry these things. I'll piss off. Okay, just stay... There we go. Just walk in this direction, and it can't target me. The, the ones... The places that I will not try to pronounce are ones where there's, like, trickery. I just don't understand the rules of the language, so, like, anything Scandinavian, I will not attempt. <laughs> or German to some extent as well. Because I just, I, I don't understand the rules of the, of the languages, like, how to treat certain letters and sounds. I mean, this, this is pretty concise. All right, I'm gonna go around and go back to that Korok. But then I guess head to the... Where haven't I been? I need to head to the west side of this map. There's a few more shrines that way, so... Oh, it's Beetle. Hold on, hold on. I want to buy more arrows. Wait, is it Beetle? No, it's not Beetle. That's uh, the one that sells ingredients. Wait, oh, okay, I got one more. This is the last one. It's spelled P-R-A-H-R-A-N. Hand. Okay. I'll leave the guesses open for another minute. <laughs> Pray ran. Wait, what is this? Try pronouncing that one. I mean, what the heck is the STE with the the full stop? I mean, I assume the first world is Sol, and then it's like something Marie. P 
pray ran? Okay. So Saint Marie. Okay. That was close. Or is it Sue Saint Marie? Yeah, Sue like Moo. Got it. Okay, the answer to my one is Pran. It's just Pran. <laughs> it's very Aussie. It's just Pran. 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 Just remove the H R A. Pran. Yeah. Pran. <laughs> Listen, I know you want me to say the shrimp thing, but you got you, you do realize no one says that here. We don't even call them shrimp, they're just prawns. Like shrimp are those really tiny things that no one wants. It's just the big ones, they're prawns. It'd be like the equivalent of me asking, how do you say, Wah! Sorry, that was my best attempt at an eagle screech. <laughs> I don't know. Do we barbecue a lot? Yeah. Barbecue is a big thing. It's not, like, American. My mic cut me off, really? Damn you, mic. I guess it cuts out the highs. Interesting. I mean, that's good. That's what you want from a microphone. You want it to filter out anything that could be jarring to your listener. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean... Doing stuff... Oh, the barbecues, uh, yeah. It's definitely something we do. Particularly in summer. I mean, Christmas for us, that's what it is. It's... Just consider this. Just mind melt a little bit, but... Christmas is summer for us. So, a Christmas dinner is like... It can involve barbecue. I mean, definitely my family. That's, that's what we do. You're wearing shorts. I mean, that that is a big disconnect for a lot of people is when I'm talking about Christmas time, when, you know, the time comes, and I'm talking about wearing shorts and having a barbecue. It's like, oh, right, yeah. That's right, it's, it's summer over there. So... It's not uncommon to go to the beach on Christmas. Especially if it's hot. Make it back to shore. Do fish for Christmas Eve? Huh. I think I always have an aunt that makes fish. Oh no, there's too much of a. There's too much. Yeah. Too much of a flow. I'm gonna be back where I started again. Or not. What is this? Okay, sure, I'll take it.
Ah, ja. I think honestly, the most Australian thing I, I say is just when I get frustrated at something, I just sometimes I'll call it a wanker or the c word. That's probably the most Australian thing you'll hear me say, or the if I'm responding and I want to say yes, I'm like yeah, or nah yeah, or yeah nah. <laughs> Everything else is just pronunciation. What is a wanker? Ugh, that's, I guess a substitute for dickhead. I mean, tosser is like another, it's, it's another version of it. But you know, the, yeah, the, the connotation is someone who touches their penis, it's just... It's the same connotation as dickhead, it's just... If you have a wank, that's, you know, you're touching your dick. Oh yeah, the other one is like, you know, if, if people get drunk here, it's pissed. The American version is calling someone a jerk-off. Yeah. I think you're right. We don't really use, uh, like, douchebag either. Don't you dare. <laughs> I want to get to the top here and glide across to where that Korok is. Gotta swap now. Wait, this one works too, right? Yeah, this this works as well. Good old utility. Go away. There's definitely Australian slang that's very weird. I don't use a, the most extreme of uh, of Australian slang. Don't you dare go. Is this is a talus. No, because I would have registered. Ooh. No, it is. <laughs> there we go. There's a, there's, there's a talus. 
This is a fight right here. Uh, let me... Mark that. That is clever. It's deceiving. I guess the the little the little rock is its head. Okay, uh it is hold on, I'm just trying to line it up. This might be driving people insane. Okay, it's this way. Got it. Okay, well I heard a Korok here, so I've been here. No! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this might be okay, but... Yeah, this is the one. Wow, I'm kind of surprised that worked. Okay. Shit. I can't retrieve these arrows either. Oh, that was just, okay. Right, because the reason I didn't do this was because it was more than two. Was the last one. This one I feel like I need to aim higher, otherwise I, I'm just not given enough time. Okay. That's the spot. What? <laughs> Still not done. Where's this last one? Oh, there. Okay. Dude. Okay, there. I thought I was done. I knew I missed. What? That's <laughs> it's not done. How many are there? I don't like this one. Thank you. Well, I mean, we're almost at a hundred. One ninth of the way. <laughs> One ninth of the way. I mean, that's not too bad, right? Like a hundred, almost a hundred in three days. If I keep that average up, it's, it's within reason I can find them all within the next month. Granted, it does get a lot more tedious and harder when there's shit. There's there's another one down here. And it's another arrow one. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna wait. 
just wait. Don't move. There we go. gonna need more arrows again. Oh, uh, really? Already? Oh uh, no. There might be one at the top of one of these trees. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's currently raining. Apparently makes it difficult to do anything. No, nope. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I'm just trying to jump and grab. There we go. Oh, cool. Thank you. It stopped raining. Alright, cool. Okay, I'm climbing. Would be able to see it if it was here. Oh, okay, it's here. Um, where's okay? I need to save it here. I mean, if this, I'll save it, but if, if this chops down correctly. Good enough. Oh, you know what I should be doing? Yeah, I know what I should be doing. Some of these... Okay, I mean, I'm a bit south. Wow, I'm really off track here, but... Sometimes on the map you can see... Formations. Like, for example, that... It's not what I wanted to do, but thanks. Um, like, this, for example, is definitely a Korok. Just, there are certain ones where it's very easy to know. That is another one. There's probably one there, but I'm not going to mark it. I mean, I should probably go back to the Great Plateau at some point. There's one. That is a rock formation.
I believe I need there's one here. There's one that was on top of Link. So I do need to go back to the Shrine of Resurrection. I'll have just look around for a few more seconds. What am I doing? I'm marking out obvious Koroks. Because there's ones that you can see just by looking at the map. When I come across an example, I'll show you. Aren't that ma I mean, it's mainly the mountains where this happens, but sometimes you see three trees in a row, and it's just so obvious that that's a Korok. Um, I'm surprised there isn't another one here. There's usually formations everywhere that you can see, but I might just be lucky and not have the part of the map where they're common. Yeah, this is this part's useless. All right, let me just go to a spot that I I know. So, for example, there's three trees in a row. So that's all. That's a Korok, right? Clearly. Um, and then over here, another three trees in a row. That's another Korok. Yeah, I can remove that. Wait, no, I can't. It's not, it hasn't been done. Yes, it has. Remove. Okay. Um, and then... This one. Over here. So... If I remove it, right? See how there's a bunch of dots? That's a, that's one of those rock formations where you have to place the rock down, so... It's a Korok. So, there's quite a few that you can just know the location of just by looking at the map because it's visible. So, the easiest ones is just three trees in a row. Or oh, you'll see like a dot in a triangle or a circle. Like a dotted line pattern. Um... Let me see if I can spot any out here. Because you'd be surprised, like, even though you're in an area where you're finding them pretty frequently, like, sometimes you will miss because you're just not in proximity for the mask to go off.
Yeah, I mean, that'll do. But, it's, uh... It's something I should be doing. When I get the maps. So, anyway. Shit. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let me get back to... I need to turn around completely. Uh, I'm a bit off course here. Oh, there's a Hinox here. Yes, please. I need to drop on the Hinox and steal weapons, so hang on. Uh, I mean, this can go. It's pretty much gone, so... This might be a death as well, I just gotta be careful. You know what, I'll... I'll drop in from above. When I was hunting down the last hundred Koroks, that's how I found a lot of them, was just looking at the map and... Uh, yeah, that's, that's how I found quite a few of the ones that I had missed. It was just, oh wow, there's, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Even though I was zigzagging across the land, and I thought I was being pretty thorough, but... I missed quite a few. I hope that thing's not alive. Okay. I'm gonna save. Here we go. I should just be able to snatch everything, because I'm missing a bow as well. Okay, out of here. What did I get? Okay, I mean, the, the 26, and... Yeah, decent. Eventually I will fight these things, just not yet. <laughs> I'm keeping the death count low tonight. Still only one. One death in six hours. Gotta give me credit for that. Admittedly, the one death I had was, was stupid, but... I'm doing good. Where'd it go? Oh, up there. There we go. It was such a nice number. I know, I mean, I tried, it was just... I messed up. <laughs> I miscalculated the bomb radius. I still kept it around for a pretty long time. It's practically three hours. On the bright side, I don't have to do much, uh, I don't have to double check, double check today. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> Nearly at a hundred. Turn around and go back that way. Because we're heading too far south. I 
I'm trying to balance finding Koroks and doing shrines so it, it doesn't end up being a stream where I only search for Koroks. I think this is the way to do it. You know what? That's a good way to know something's going to be alive if you pull out the camera and it says it's a decayed guardian. Okay, that one's safe. Yeah. That's... That's how you do things, in a smart way. From here, continue along this vault. Well, I'm not I'm definitely not dropping down there because if I do, that's disastrous. So, but I'll, I'll cut across here. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't seen a dragon yet. Not even in the sky. I don't think I've seen one. Uh, let me look at this direction. Okay. Hey, I recognize that. <laughs> Isn't one on top of a mountain? There's a few on top of a mountain. Uh, like these two. All right, well, since it started raining, I guess I'll go across now. Okay, I'm going to head towards that shrine over there. How's it going? Uh, Lanius is going good. No... No more deaths. It's almost at 100 Korok, so... Stole a bunch of weapons from a Hinox, so replenished. Okay, uh... I mean, I was heading in a straight line. Corox over there. Just got the all white horse. Uh, you need to. It's a quest thing, so. You can choose to keep it or turn it in. There's a quest for it where you can, uh, if you do the quest, you can't keep it. Uh, I don't remember. I want to say you don't keep it, but I'm just going to say don't remember. thing has five spurs. <laughs> well, I mean, you can find another if, uh... I 
Okay, let me look where I am. Yeah, see what I mean? Three trees, Korok. Stop! It's possible you only have to show it. Uh, memory is flaky on this one, but I do know it's a quest thing. This one is where I have to run. It's possible that the... The start point is somewhere else. There's a Korok flower. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. But just because you hear the ringing doesn't mean that's the start point. The ringing usually is the end point. Okay, well... Oh, whoa. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Where did that come from? Where, where did that even come from? want. Oh. No, that's not one. My bad. Thought for sure that would be one. I'm looking forward to the end of the week. It's my Friday. I mean, if it's nearby... Lucky still have to get through Thursday. <laughs> You'll be fine. I mean, look at it this way. I, I, yes, I get to Friday sooner, but I also get to Monday sooner. It's like half full, half empty. Oh, this doesn't... Probably in the tree. It's not. Huh. Do I just put down an apple? You keep the horse? Alright. Well, there you go.
Yeah, on the topic of horse gear, I need to find the ancient horse gear. Now it is referring to the hill. Hmm. I need to find it. I haven't really gone out of my way. To be honest, it's just the horse. <laughs> Even with that, it's just, it still has the same problems. Where am I, where am I missing this? Do you need the set for the things? What thing? The teleport thing? I honestly don't remember. I know one of them's stamina related and then the other one is teleport. Or it might be a combination of the two. The saddle is for teleportation, okay. Where is this? Where is Korok? I mean, I looked in the tree. It's not in the tree. It's not the donation thing. Because there was no spot to place one. I went down the hill. Oh, crap. Not now. Maybe one of them glows? Yeah, maybe. Also, hey, Gami. I mean, it is night time now. Doesn't hurt to just shoot them. Is it a rock behind? Ah. Oh. Alright. It's a simple answer. <laughs> it's just that. Yeah. Sometimes it's just that. Okay, I'm going to the shrine across the river and then coming back. Falling asleep, thought you'd pop in and say hi. Well, appreciate that, dude. Yeah, I mean, progressing through this, watch the, because they did another, another trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. It's the final thing they're showing before the game comes out, so it was good. Okay, this one's nice. Nice and straightforward. Ninety-eight! Ninety-nine! Ninety-nine is here as well. Okay, we're up to a hundred. We're up to a hundred. That's a hundred Koroks, because there's one across as well. Yeah, I mean, I should take a hint because Gammy is, is in the same time zone as me. <laughs> so, I should take a hint. Ninety-nine. I'll do this first, then I'll I'll go across and get number one hundred. Bosh Kala. Oh crap. What time is it? Uh, <clears throat> one thirty. <laughs> but listen, I, I am a night owl. I get enough sleep. Don't worry. I am night owl.
but also this is oh, honestly the the only time the only time where it is sort of viable to stream <laughs> because if i stream at say 5 p.m i mean maybe not the case now but 5 p.m for most americans is like three four five in the morning depending on where you are and for Europeans, it's like, it's, it can be anywhere between 7 to 9 a.m. Which is, it's not the most ideal. You're old, you're in bed by 10. But I mean, 10 is still pretty late. I, I know people that they can't stay up past 9. I don't think age has anything to do with it. I, it's just what you're acclimated to. <laughs> I need to eat something. <laughs> Should move Australia somewhere else for better stream times. I mean, if I want to stay in Australia and make the stream time better, the option is to move to the West Coast. However, I don't want to move to the West Coast. It's not because I live here, but, you know, I've, I've visited most Australian capital cities, with the exception of one, and... I, I have to say, like, where I am, it's, it's definitely... I think it's the best place in Australia. There are people on the West Coast. There are. It's it's very quiet on the West Coast. Comparing it to where I am, it is, it is quite quiet. But, you know, the flip side is their time zone is two hours behind. So if I was on the West Coast right now, it would not be midnight. It would be 1130. And, you know, I'd be able to go for another two, three hours. And the start time, it, it would be better. It would definitely be better. But that would involve living in the West Coast. It's nothing against the West Coast. It's just... I would rather live on the West Coast before I would live in Sydney. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Sorry, Sydney. But, you know, we have- there's a rivalry between Melbourne and Sydney. But just the- the handful of times I've gone to Sydney, I swear, there's always been someone being a dickhead. Or just... The two times I asked for directions, the person that, you know, I talked to was just a wanker, quite frankly. Whereas in here in Melbourne, you, you don't get that. Everyone's pretty nice in general. I'm not saying everyone's nice, but... Also, their, their city layout is, is truly horrendous. <laughs> That's why people from Sydney always say bad things about Melbourne. Uh, yeah. I mean, the story of Australia's capital city, um, once upon a time, you know, they were deciding where the capital city should be, and Melbourne and Sydney were both putting their hands up. So, the, the debate got pretty heated, and, uh, they decided, fuck it, we're going to make a whole new state halfway between the two. And that's where the, the capital city is going to be. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what happened. How far away is Sydney? Uh, it's like eight hour drive, or it's like a. I want to say two hour flight. I can't remember. I don't pay attention to the flight time. Two or three hour flight. It's not that far away. I guess I have to eat this. It's fine. This is what it's here for. Whenever I need just that little bit of extra stamina. I do find it funny how you're spelling Sydney as well. 
It doesn't bother me. But someone from Sydney will be like, actually, the way it's spelt is S Y D N E Y. It's not it's not with a letter I. Yeah. Keep spelling that way. <laughs> it's I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's with a Y. Side me. But then you could still spell that with an I, I guess. Mistakes were made. That's fine. <laughs> I've got no horse in that race. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn around and hit these things. At least the, these are fine because it's just one hit. But yeah, I mean, maybe I just had, coincidentally, five bad experiences in Sydney. <laughs> but, let me put it this way, when I went to the other capital cities, they, they were not like that. There's just one I haven't been to. You don't know why, but when you think about Australia, you think it's small, it isn't? No, it's not. It's Australia's like the size of the moon. It's, uh, it's huge. However, if you were to talk about, um, you know, what is occupied by people. A lot of Australia doesn't really have people. Um, our population is clustered along the coasts. And then there might be some people that live further in inland, but um, in general everyone's along the coast. Hey look, a dragon. Finally. The US is bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's bigger. <laughs> Humble brag. America's bigger. At least you spelt Melbourne correctly. Yes. Yes, you did. Here's the thing, if you ever visit Australia, listen. Go to Sydney by all means. It has the things that are mo most internationally famous. Go see those things, and then go literally anywhere else. That oh shit. That would be my advice. Okay. Guess we're doing this, huh? I love this music, by the way. Oh, we already got it. Unfortunately, this one's kind of in an awkward spot. It's raining as well, so that's not optimal conditions to fight this thing. Ooh, oh, it's on its back. Shit. Okay, I need to get off it. Otherwise, it's gonna knock me off. Yeah, I don't think I should fight this thing. Shit! 
If it wasn't raining, this would be fine, but the problem is it's raining. I mean, I'll try, but... Set the trap. Oh, dick. I need to get behind it. Move, 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 move. No, that was bad. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Doesn't do much damage. Okay, uh... Yeah, I can do this. Okay, here we go. Nah, see, this is too annoying. Okay. This is in, in such an awkward spot, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste stuff if I fight this thing. This is, this is the most annoying one to fight, because it's on its back, it's not on its head. And it's just going to keep regenerating health. So this is one of the ones that I, I wouldn't fight, personally. Not in master mode. It just gets up way too quickly. Yeah. Probably die immediately bitten by something poisonous. Okay, listen. When it comes to Australia, I'm going to try and convey this in the best way possible. But think of the most dangerous thing that happens in wherever you live. Right? Whether it be crime. Whether it be maybe you live near something like a bear. Or animals that are potentially dangerous. Right? Or maybe you just live near a place where the neighborhood's not the greatest. You have a higher chance of something happening where you live than to be uh, murdered by a wild animal if you visit Melbourne or Sydney. The only time you will experience something life-threatening is if you go into the middle of nowhere in Australia. Then yes, yeah, dangerous, sure. If you go into the, the middle of Australia without a guide, probably not the best idea. In my entire lifetime, I've only come across one thing where I was like, oh shit, I need to get away from this thing or it's, it might kill me. Once. And that was because I was genuinely in the middle of nowhere. Other than that, not a single time. <laughs> what was it? It was a, uh, a snake. Specifically an eastern brown snakes. No snakes or giant spiders get into your house. No, not in Melbourne. You have to be living in pretty much rural area, like four or five hours away from Melbourne or like a city. But if you go to any of the big cities, with the exception of the far north cities, those are the exception. But if you're talking about Melbourne and Sydney, the two places where you would visit, right? You see the Opera House, you see Steve Irwin Zoo. Um, you have the beaches in Sydney as well. And even if you go a little further no north and go to, like, the Great Barrier Reef, you're pretty safe. Like, the Great Barrier Reef, that, that area, that north area, spiders, sure. But it's... It's not... It's not high odds. It's just... You have, like, you're in more danger where you live. Let me put it that way. You are in a bigger danger where you live currently. think spiders are cool and interesting, but you hate them. Here, it's not all spiders are bad. 
There's just a certain bunch of them that you don't want to mess with, but... Snakes scare you. I've, I've... Do you know what? That one time I came across that snake, that's the only time I've seen a snake. <laughs> does, does that... Does that help? Like, last time this came up, I was like, listen, like, you, you have more to be afraid of where you live. There's a higher odd of something happening to you where you live currently than there ever is to come across, you know, one of the stereotypical things that can murder you here. How do you know if it's poisonous? I mean, we get taught. But, you know, in general, don't mess with snakes. That's, that's... Rule of thumb, just don't mess with snakes. If you see one, don't mess with it. It's pretty easy. Don't even, don't even entertain it. Just, you see a snake, don't mess with it. A spider, if it's like what, a red back or a, a white tail, those are the two most distinguishable ones. Otherwise, it's like, if you're in Melbourne and Sydney, it's, it's pretty unlikely. They do exist, but it's just one of those things that in, in the city and its surrounding suburbs, you just, you don't see them. There's, look, there's definitely stories of people seeing them, right? It's not like they don't exist, but it's, it's one of those things, it's, it's an odds thing. Right? It's... The odds are so low. Don't miss out on a really good travel experience just because you're afraid something might happen. It's like... If I followed the same logic, I would never visit America. <laughs> because... Fuck, like, I'd, I'd be like, oh no, I'm afraid of a bear. Oh no, I'm afraid of, like, just all this random shit that happens there that doesn't happen here. Well, that's the other thing. Having the money to visit, like, visiting Australia is expensive. However, in terms of spending money, once you're here, because the American dollar is worth a lot more, does does work out all right. And the flight is, uh, is the other thing. It's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a bitch. You live in this town with 3,000 people. Nothing to see at all. The wildest animal you've seen is a deer or a frog. I would love to see a deer. That fascinates me because we don't have anything that has antlers. Yeah, I mean, aspire to travel. Like, don't, don't be quick to dismiss that, oh, might never get to do it. It's, it'll happen. Uh, I have, like, I have uncles that live in LA and, you know, <laughs> they, uh, yeah, it took them, what, 25 years to be able to come out here and visit, but they did it, eventually. Where is this other one? I got this- oh wait, no, oh no, that's- oh, I thought this one I- I had gotten. No, it's- this is the one I'm looking for. It just looked like that was a little Korok standing there. It was not. Dear and nice, not when you're driving. Same can be said about kangaroos, they will mess up your car.
I mean, it's one of those things where it's just, it's an exo it's something exotic. Something that I'm not used to, and it'd be cool to see it. Now, would I want to live with that nearby? Probably not. <laughs> it's one of those things where, you know, nice to see and experience maybe once, but dealing with it on a regular or semi-regular basis, or having it being a looming threat, I wouldn't want to do that. No wild kangaroos near you. So, in the city, no, but where I used to live, which is like roughly an hour and a half away from the city, uh, that was, was a place I could go to within 15 minutes where there were kangaroos around. So, you don't have to go too far out to see them. At least not down here. I'm not sure about Sydney. But you have the zoos as well. Do kangaroos jump in front of cars? Uh, they hop across roads. I don't know if they jump in front of cars. Definitely seen them hop across roads. But, you know... When you see them out in the wild, they just look lazy. They're just lying around. And there's a, I mean, there's a park, a national park, along the southern coast, um, where you can go and pet them, as well as, like, some of the birds. Like, uh, I mean, the ones that are known that you feed, uh, I think they're just Australian birds, but they're called rosellas. They, they're like, they're primarily red, but they also have, uh, Yellow, green, and blue feathers. And they're pretty tiny. And then there's uh, kookaburras as well. The ones that, you know, instead of going cheap, 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 they're like, ha 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 Cunt. Right, they don't say cunt, but, you know. <laughs> they laugh. They are adorable, though. Demonetized. Uh, apparently, I, I I can swear a bit more. It's okay. Listen, there's not there's not much money to be made with with this stream. Advertisers are probably uh looking in the wrong place if they are trying to advertise on with me. But do they smell bad? Uh, I mean they can. I wouldn't say it's like something that kicks you in the face. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's a musk, I guess. It's, it's not bad. It's just, just animal smell. Do koalas smell? Koalas, I've, I haven't seen up close. I've seen in a zoo because those, those you definitely have to. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this. <laughs> forgot about the talus! Yeah, because primarily when they're out in the wild, they're, they're in trees, so you can't really get too close to them. It's You're never going to be within the range to be like, hmm, this smells. I will say one random koala fact that is true is, like, a lot of them have chlamydia. So, you know. Cuddly, sure. Disease-ridden, also true. Life is ruined. <laughs> have you heard- have you seen- a video of two koalas fighting. Uh, let me tell you. How do you think... Like, imagine in your head how you think a koala sounds. Because that... That video will ruin your expectations. Like a drunken cat? No. It's one of those things where you don't expect it either way. But just... Look it up on YouTube, just 
two koalas fighting. You'll probably see the video. But listen all the way to the end. That's what I'm gonna say. Listen all the way to the end. How would a drunken cat sound? That's a fair question. A very fair question. What differentiates a drunk cat from a sober one? I just never land anywhere near where I am. Have I looked in this forest? Let me see. Ah, oh, not really. Okay. But I mean, damn, this area has been pretty dense with the Koroks. Nice. Easy. I'm very happy. Because now I am well ahead. I can die 30 times. Okay. Give or take. You know what? This might be one of these ones where I have to look around because it's just a bunch of stuff that's being thrown around. Let's see. Let me do this. Just in case. There's a rock here. Why is that? Oh. Wait, but... That's also something over here. Let's see if it registers. No. <laughs> Surprise, I haven't gotten hit. Okay. Throwing spear. What else have we got? Boko spear. Hmm. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah, underneath. There we go. Yeah, ha ha. You know what example I should have used? I should have used the example of, like, if you experience snow and have slipped on ice. That's something that doesn't happen in, in Australia. So, you know, any serious injury that is a likelihood of slipping on ice, which is not as uncommon as you would think, 
There you go. You're completely safe from that. <laughs> yeah. And you're more likely to have that happen to you than, say, come across a deadly animal. If you visit Melbourne. I'm gonna use that next time. That's- that's a good one. Well, the cat- you know, it, it- like, if you go to the mountains several hours away, sure, there's- there's ice there, but it's not- it's not, like, real ice. It's just- it's not great. Our snow is- is not really snow. It's like, most of the time it's just slush. At least here. Ice in Australia is not real. What? I mean, I say that relative to what you might experience. If you were to see the weather report talking about our snow season, you would laugh. Talking about like one weekend in August. Oh, better hurry. Beautiful conditions this weekend. But you know, it'll be gone next weekend, so get the bring the kids down and uh yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't be visiting Australia for the snow, you'd be visiting for the experience because there's a bunch of different animals and in case you weren't aware, there's a pretty good food culture here, so. And of course there's, there's some culture shock. Maybe this isn't the smartest idea. I'm not sneaking. I just want to convince myself there's no Koroks. Oh, you want your weapons? Go get your weapons. Do it. Get your weapons. Shit, the only other thing I I can say about like misconceptions is don't don't expect uh anything anything that Outback Steakhouse tells you to be real here and just the whole Um Fosters and shrimp thing. It's just you're gonna be disappointed. Just because Outback Steakhouse is Outback Steakhouse is fake doesn't mean it doesn't pique my interest in terms of the food they have. Don't get me wrong, like whilst I don't I didn't know what a blooming onion was until an American asked me where to get one here. Um The concept does intrigue me. Have we ever had an ostrich egg? Ost well, we don't have them. So no. Emu? I mean, I know it's a thing that people can eat them, but... Yeah, haven't. Haven't tried. And don't stress about asking questions, it's fine.
you're making you're making conversations which is perfectly okay I think, I mean, in terms of Australian animals, I've eaten kangaroo, I've eaten crocodile. Those, those are the two that are, like, non-standard. Blooming onions sound so good. They do, yeah. I mean, deep-fried onion. I like onion rings. Just, yeah, it sounds good. Is it Australian? Not in the slightest. But I would eat one. I would, I mean, okay, I wouldn't eat one myself, that's, that's just insane, but, you know, I would, I would partake in the eating of a blooming onion. Does anyone, Americans, does anyone eat blooming onions on their own? Are they intended to be eaten on their own? Or, or is it, is it a thing like it's a, it's a share thing, you know, like, you get it. Uh, before your main comes out. There's more to share? Okay. Good. <laughs> I was a little worried. I was like, wait, do people eat those on their own? It's a whole ass onion. Because... Okay. Here, here's a story for you. Uh, in high school, taking final exams for the year. Uh, so... For those that don't know, I mean, particularly here in this state, it's, uh... You have your English exam, and that English exam is is the, your longest exam. It's a few hours long. I think it was three hours or something. Anyway. Um... I had the misfortune... Typically, you're not supposed to have another exam that day. Because, uh... A subject I took, it was... One of these, uh... I don't know what you call it, but it's effectively a class where you get, like, a trade qualification. Anyway. Had my English exam, and then I had to wait three hours before I had to go an to another exam for this subject. So, you know, people... We went to uh, Burger King. I'll call it Burger King, for the sake of you being able to understand it. And there was about... Seven of us there, so we all order large meals, we get whatever, and uh, the cashier says, hey, listen, uh, we're out of fries, are uh, onion rings okay? And everyone was like, yeah, whatever, just onion rings, it's cool. So, you know, we sit down, and one of my friends, he's the dude that, you know, I'm sure everyone knew one of these people who always was, was like, hey, how much will you pay me if I do this? So, he was like, how much will you pay me if I eat all of the onion rings? So, we set a, we set a number, and he agreed to it. So, he ate, he sat there and ate, over the course of two and a half hours, uh, seven large, seven large servings of onion rings. And after, I think, about the fourth large server of onion rings, he wasn't looking too hot. Now, I tell you this because that's, uh, that's what I, I think in my head what it would be like to eat a whole blooming onion on, on your own. It might be one of those things that starts off good, but probably halfway in, you wouldn't feel great, I would imagine. <laughs> so... I just got reminded of that after asking, you know, would anyone eat a whole blooming onion? I don't think anyone would. Now, now that I think about it a bit more. That's a, it is a lot, but you know, this, this dude uh, didn't care. Okay, I see it. It's up there. Ooh. Stuck on the part where you said they were out of fries. It it happens. <laughs> D 
Uh, do you want to hear a better one? Like KFC that runs out of chicken. But you know, they say that it's not that they're out of chicken, it's that it's it's a while before the next cook comes off because they weren't organized enough to predict how much they were going to sell. Or maybe there was just a massive influx of people that wanted chicken. Can't eat that much in one sitting. I used to be able to eat a lot when I was a teenager. Like, I had a ridiculous metabolism. And I just had aunts constantly going, You don't eat, you're a twig. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> you should see how much I eat. But uh, those days are truly over. I would have loved to have swapped the onion rings for chicken nuggets. That would have been good. But I think fries are really not worth the same. But then again, I mean, Burger King, at least back then, I'll call it Burger King again. Their, uh, their chicken nuggets aren't the greatest. Oh, no, I've got that one. All right. They did do chicken fries. The chicken fries weren't bad. Burger King is gross. Yeah. Well, it's not Burger King here. It's Hungry Jack, so it's, it's not quite the same as Burger King, but they do share a lot of similarities. It's owned by, by Burger King, but it's there is a little bit of difference to it. But, yeah, I mean, I, I would still rank it towards the bottom. I haven't been to a Burger King in years. The service is just bad. Yeah. I think that's kind of the thing with... A lot of fast food is how good it is is relative to just <laughs> at the end of the day is your is the one that you go to does it have uh does it have good people working there do they do a decent job or do they do any dodgy things to like here's the thing i don't know if it's the case everywhere but one th I worked in fast food as my first job, and one thing that they push, and it's such a stupid thing to push, is the metric of speed of service. It was always pushed. It wasn't customer satisfaction, it was how fast you could get an order out. And stores had, uh, well, managers had certain quotas they had to meet. So they had to make sure that, you know, orders were done quickly. So to meet that, some managers, they'll do dodgy things, like they'll pre-make a bunch of stuff and have it sitting there, so then it doesn't take forever, they just grab it and off the heating thing and just serve it. So that's where quality can suffer, right? So it, it just comes down to that. If there's the fast food restaurant that has enough foot traffic, then, you know, they can't really do that. It's... There's always a consistency of their making stuff, and it goes out pretty quickly. drive through is a higher priority than people in the building ordering food. Absolutely, yeah. drive through has the higher priority.
you wanna you when you go to fast food, you wanna go to a place where it has good foot traffic during busy hours where it's just a constant rush. Like the bigger the line the better. And the reason is because then they don't just have food that's been sitting there for like ten minutes. Even ten minutes is bad. Just sitting on a heating element. It just it that's where the quality suffers. But if it's something where they're constantly having to make stuff because the line is big, then odds are you have a better chance of having a, a decent experience. It's not guaranteed, but it's definitely better. You should look for one that has a good line, because then that means that they don't just keep stuff on the heating element. <laughs> it's fresher, yeah, because it's, it's constantly being rotated out. It doesn't sit there for... 10-15 minutes. 10-15 minutes might not sound like a lot, but uh, yeah, it, it's a lot. <laughs> you want to know, you wanna know a, a really dumb skill that I have? I wouldn't call it a, sk a skill. Alright. But, you know, my first job was in a- this is an Australian fast food restaurant. Australians will know it, um, but it's a chicken shop. So, I can- I can look at a roast chicken and kind of look at it and be like, okay, this chicken was made X amount of hours ago, and it's been sitting in a warmer for this amount of time, just by looking at it. So if I ever need to buy a roast chicken, I can tell. It's like, yeah, I, I shouldn't buy this one because I know how long it's been there for. And it's probably not great. <laughs> that's, that's, that's something that I just, uh, yeah, have developed as a result of working at that place. It's a good skill. It's a bit of a weird one, but yeah. Um, we don't have Panera bread, but I know what it is. We don't really have anything similar. I wouldn't be able to tell it. Oh, you know what? No, th no, there is there is something that is sort of similar. Um, it's overpriced hospital food. I've seen the the soup bread bowls and how they just the soup just gets absorbed <laughs> by the bread. It's one of those things that markets themselves as being a bakery, right? And then they do a bunch of other stuff. I've heard, uh... That they're, uh... They're flatbreads, which I guess is sort of like pizza. It's like cafeteria stuff. I need to make more stamina food, so we'll do that. So I think there's multiple of these that I have to climb in this area. Bread sandwiches and soup. Yeah, we have something like that here, but the quality's not bad. It's called, uh, Origin Tales. Wait, is it Origin Tales? Hang on, what's it called? No, not Origin Tales. That's something else. That's a vegan place. Ah, I forget the name of the place. Hang on. I'm just looking up what it's called. I'll know it. Like, I'm just looking at a shopping mall. It's there. The name escapes me. I don't go there. That's why I don't remember the name. Soul Origin. That's what it's called. Soul. Like, S-O-U-L. Okay, Americans, do you want to trip out about something? I've talked about Starbucks in, in, in Australia and how, you know... Once upon a time, they tried to aggressively open, and Australia pretty much rejected them. So, they went from several hundred stores to only a few. 
Uh, they still exist, but uh, the way they exist now is pretty much just to be a familiar face to Americans visiting Australia. That's their role in Australia now. But, you know, they also try to keep up and try to remain competitive locally. So if you want to trip out, have a look at um, the Starbucks menu for Australia in terms of food. I guess in general the offerings, but... Yeah. <laughs> and even with all this, most Australians are still like, nah, fuck that, Starbucks. Because your, your local coffee shop is going to be just infinitely better than that. And there's, there's, there's a culture here to visit your local coffee shop, and you kind of tend to get to know the people that work there, and yeah, it's just a small business thing. This is a talus, isn't it? Yep. Okay, but I might be able to fight this one. Oh, okay. Alright, where is it? Is it... Okay, this one I can fight. I'll fight this one. This one's on its head. Never bought food from Starbucks, only cake pop for the kids. The star- honestly, the, the food that Starbucks hit, does here is, is not bad. Because they have to compete with local cafes and it's of a higher standard than you would think for a chain. Okay. We're going... Gotta hit it, gotta hit it. It's regenerating. Welcome to master mode. Okay, got it. Better. That's what I needed to do. Alright. GG. <laughs> Easy. Tal's fights are fun. And I am, like, this is, this makes me money at the end of the day. I didn't die. Yeah, I mean, the Tal's fights aren't too bad. It's just the one where it's on its back. That's the annoying one in the context of Master Mode because it just keeps regenerating its health. And the only way to really hit it from behind, you need more stamina. I run out of stamina before I get around. Do I get a lot from Twitch? What, like money? Uh, nah, not really. Like, I'm not a big streamer. And I don't really, I mean, I'm sure you've noticed, like, I don't really ask. I don't really have, like, a subscription goal on s screen. I don't, you know, do stuff to incentivize people to do all that stuff. Like, because my job lets me live comfortably. And it's just one of those things that. If I was to go to the extent where I cared about money and making money here, it just... I feel like I wouldn't be happy doing that. And, I mean, I, I wouldn't feel right asking for money. Just because, it, I mean, who am I, man? <laughs> just 
someone playing games on the internet and at the end of the day it's just I think I don't want to go to, down the path of like talking about doom and gloom but you know times are tough I'll just say that and I don't want anyone spending on me when I'm perfectly fine I'm beyond fine But, you know, I'll, I do always appreciate when people do. It is very validating, and, you know, it does... It does, uh... What's the word? It's, I don't want to say encourage, but it's just one of those things where... Small... When you're a small streamer, it gets in your head sometimes. Like, if you're doing the right thing or not, because... Man. <laughs> Everyone experiences th this at some point. It's just like the want to. The want to do better, but like because you're constrained by ultimately the algorithm and all that stuff, is like sometimes you feel like you. you aren't moving or you're not going anywhere, but. The, uh. Whenever the, the stuff happens, I don't, I don't care about the money. And I always try to put it back in by making the viewing experience better. So, I mean, you know, I've upgraded the microphones. In this room I put, uh... It's, it's, it's foam. It's acoustic foam. But it just helps the sound quality be better. And I've gotten things that'll let me play, like, different consoles. So, you know, to do the whole Zelda thing. I bought a modified 3DS. So, I'm always spending it back on the stream at the end of the day, but... I I wouldn't care if I didn't make a single cent off this, it's just... Because that's, that's not ultimately my goal at the moment. I know that, statistically speaking, and I don't want to sound pessimistic, it's just... It's unlikely that I'll get to a, a level where, you know, I'm a large streamer where I can consider this... Oh, I could do this as a as a career or a day to day thing. It's it's just it's really unlikely. It's not it's not impossible, but it's just we're at a point where there's just so many streamers and so many content creators. It's just not the same as it used to be to be able to grow to that level. So, and I'm not actively doing the things that I should be doing to try and get to that point. So. That follower goal is ambitious. That follower goal is is there to, I guess, just be facetious and be like, listen, you're not going to get that here. I'm not going to be someone that, you know... I don't want anyone to feel like they're just a number. There's nothing wrong with having those kind of goals, but this is just my opinion on it. Right? I don't want to shit on people that have, like, a, a follower goal or a, or a uh, donation goal or whatever on screen. I mean, it's fine to aspire to have those certain goals. It's fine. But I just... I don't know. I, d I don't want it to be a thing where it's just, at the end of the day, people are, like, just an ends to a mean. think I'm doing a good job. Thank you. I do I do appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, if you like being a number, that that's fine. I I think like I just this is a little bit of a fault, but it's also something that I believe in. It's just, I, I like being altruistic about streaming. It's, you know, I, I don't want to be seem like, you know, I'm not being truthful to who I am or truthful to like the extent at which uh, 
you know, I have a relationship with people here, right? Like, I've said this before. I, I care about everyone in the chat to the extent of a collective, but I don't want it to go to, like, a parasocial thing. It's not to say that I can't, you know, individually get to know people on that level. Definitely, like, uh, there's people that have watched me and, you know, I consider them my friends. Like, the, over time, gotten to know each other more. And, uh, yeah, right? Get to that point. But from the outset, I just, I don't, I try my best not to make it seem like that's the default. And that's to a detriment and to, I guess, a strength to some degree. Like, some people are looking for that, but... When you were in my stream for the first time, looked at the profile, and saw me play a lot of stuff you're also interested in. Instantly followed because you like the way I interact with chat. Thank you. Oh man. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying! Nah. Thank you, though. Um, at any rate, sorry, like, that kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent. I know th the question was simply, hey, do you make much money? <laughs> the answer to that question was just, not really. I mean, I'll, I'll be transparent about it. It's, you know. It's enough to pay an internet bill here or there every now and then. But... Yeah, I'm not actively chasing it. I mean, Chad, if I, if I had the choice, I would not have ads, like, on Twitch, period. Every little bit helps. No, yeah, but I guess that's the thing, is, like, I don't... I'm very fortunate um, that, you know, I have a job that, first of all, is flexible. And, you know, it's not to say it's the perfect job. There, There are things that... Sometimes, yeah, I mean, look, every job is like that. You, you have your good, you have your bad. But in general, like, you know, I'm, I'm in a position that I'm, I don't really have to answer to too many people. And, you know, people trust my judgment. And it lets me live pretty comfortably. Like, I, I'm not stressed by any other stuff that I'm sure my parents would have appreciated. I mean, sorry, experience bringing, bringing us up as kids. So that's why, like, I, I don't really, I don't really think of this as like, a, oh, I need this, and every little bit counts. It's, you know, I've, I've said it a lot of times. Just chat, keep your money. <laughs> There's not many ads on here. Yeah, because I've put the setting to keep, the, like, you can't turn them off, but I've used the setting where it's like, just keep them out of the way, please. Like, Amazon giving me $2 at the end of the month is not worth me losing someone because they're getting too many ads. It's so stupid. It's not worth it, chat. It really isn't. Yeah, I mean, the easiest way to help a smaller content creator, and this might sound simple, but it's just simply being here, and it's just, it's just the act of being here, because not only does it, you know, help when a smaller streamer has doubts, but it also helps in the way of algorithm stuff, it's like, there's, to some degree, uh, uh, I'm sure Twitch recommends chats that are chatty, or chats where, like, people follow. There's, there's some- there's something there. But on YouTube, it's like, 
just the simple thumbs up and the comment thing, there's a reason people ask for it, and it's because that's that does a lot more than, at least in my opinion, that does a lot more than a subscription in the context of Twitch. Um, because that'll help you grow it. And the other one is like, yeah, you know, you get financial help or money or whatever. But at the end of the day, Amazon gets half of it. So it's not great. Or just, you know, people being here, interacting, checking out your content. It's, it's something that'll help you grow. You're worth more than two dollars. You are. Saw that I have 1,000 videos on YouTube. I mean, a lot. to be fair, a lot of them, they're just VODs. I haven't done anything. The Highlights channel was the one where I've done editing. But I took a step back from them just because it was one of those things where... I do enjoy editing stuff, and some of them, they're, they're good memories. But the time investment required versus, like how much views they were getting, uh, I was like, I, I wanna... Eventually I'll, I'll do more of it, if it ever picks up, but for now, I'm just... Whenever I can, I'll, I'll edit something together. I've been trying to dabble in stuff that's more typical to YouTube, but, you know, time. <laughs> okay, well... I think I'm gonna go do another another one over here. There's a few. I think I just started streaming too late, you know. Had I started streaming maybe ten years ago, <laughs> it, w it may have gone a different way. But 10 years ago, I did not have a good internet connection, so it wasn't a reality. Wow, there's nothing here. Alright, I came this way because I was like, yeah, on the way I'll just loop back. Nope, there's nothing here. But yeah, I guess the last thing I'll say is like one of the things that I I use as like a way to stay grounded is just most people, they're follow- I mean, uh, most people are following a, a bunch of streamers on Twitch. That's probably a reality. And if every one of those streamers, say, stream three to four hours a day, I don't know what the average is, but multiple hours a day, there's just not enough time to watch everyone's content. There just isn't. So the fact that people spend m sometimes multiple hours here, that's just- it's a big deal. When, you know, everyone, I want to say everyone is making content, but not literally everyone. Especially when sometimes I feel like all I'm doing is just walking around and just talking and not doing a whole lot. hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, okay. Fuck. 
This is either one that's in a tree on top, or it's one that's... I'm on when you're working, so it's like background noise mostly. No, I got that. I mean, to some, I'm background noises. To others, it's entertainment. And to some, it's just somehow listening to me just helps shut off their brain at night. King Octora. Oh, there was like six of them. Okay. Hold on. It's getting a little stuffy. I can't wait until it's truly winter because then I can keep the door closed, but... Because I have... Like a lot of electronics in here, it's just if I keep the door closed too long, it gets warm. But in, in winter, it's great. Warmest room in the house. Oh, I guess I should say apartment, it's not a house. <laughs> Pre COVID didn't work from home, so it wouldn't have been possible a few years ago. Yeah, COVID. You know, for, for how shit it was, at least the one thing it did was companies were forced to acknowledge that, hey, work from home is viable. Hey, work from home is actually better in some industries. Yeah. It's amazing how things, pro how fast things progress when you're forced to do shit. could use the stream as a podcast because I'm talking about anything but most but the game most of the time yeah that's true I, I try to talk about different things when they sometimes if I'm playing like a multiplayer game there are certain people that I, I play games with and that definitely feels like a podcast like you know uh, my moderator the logical he's not really around too much because you know life and work but when we were playing Risk of Rain, people did enjoy those streams, despite not being into Risk of Rain. But just, you know, hearing the back and forth and just talking about stuff. I wish I could do more of that, but... Sometimes it's just life, right? <laughs> Shouldn't I be sleeping? You are right. I should be, soon. The company you work for is pushing for people to go back to the office. Well, I mean, that's the- they can, but, you know, one way to counter it is simply... A lot of places are doing the opposite. They're trying to attract talent by offering work from home and more flexibility. It's like, those companies will have to change their ways because... Work from home is something that's here to stay, and even more so, there's, in certain industries, there's just a push to go to the four-day work week. And four-day keeping your current pay, I should say, not reducing pay. <laughs> Soon, TM, for the, the sleeping? Yeah. I will. I do appreciate the concern, though. I should do the shrine. I I've been walking around this place for a while, but... I just wanted to make sure, because this place is pretty dense with Korok. Compared to some of the other regions. Like, look, look at this. Just in this area alone, there's at least six. I think I've been to that tree. Okay, what about here? I think one of these is horse related. I can't remember. Alright. What about over there? That's been done. Okay, I'm gonna do the shrine.
No, there is one here. This is a horse one. I wonder if you could do it without the horse. Like, if you just leap over them. Nope, you need the horse. Okay, uh... Where's the nearest stable? I know there's one around here. That's what the beeping was. Where's the beeping I heard? I mean, I do have a little bit of a bad sense of direction in this game, but it is light, so... Is this another talus? No. The music would have started already. I mean, I've gone a little bit further. Is there a reason why I turned off the minimap? Minimalism. I like minimalism. And it doesn't really offer me much that I'm constantly looking at. Because the mechanics aren't so deep that you need the overlay, it's like... If Link is cold, you're going to equip something anyway, and the, the meter is here. When you're sneaking around, it's just... There's not that much nuance to it, at least from what I noticed. So, it's just, it's just personal preference, I just didn't really see much utility to what it was showing. Plus, you know, when you're taking screenshots for thumbnails, it's kind of nice that you have just this large area where there's no UI elements. It's just nice and clean. Ah, this one. <laughs> Master mode doesn't have the regular UI. Yeah, it does. Look, aren't they lovely? I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. Please feel free to take a close look. Just don't step on them. Yeah, she gets angry. This is a maze. I think I chose a really bad time to do this because it's raining, so it's a bit harder to see it. Right. Hmm. Oh. I think I get one mistake before she gets really angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sword was too big. The sword was too big. I need to swap to... This. Because this is a straight line. I can just ignore it. That's probably the better idea. It's okay. You're allowed one mistake before she gets pissed. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Nope. 
You bet I will hit the trap. Come on, this isn't the first time I've done this. I recognized the shrine as soon as I saw it. I just... I just forgot that I, w I had the big sword and it has a large arc, so, you know, I swiped without thinking. That's an honest mistake. It's been five years. I mean, I can't control what I remember. Like, my brain is weird. Sometimes I'll retain useful information, sometimes I retain random shit. He he la ra oh. Yeah, I mean, just marching straight to the end. I mean, there's multiple ways you can do this, but... I'm going with this way. Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. I need to be careful. Okay, put this down. There we go. Easy. <laughs> if I if I remember correctly, doesn't she is she still outside when you when you leave this? I think it's only I can't remember if she's still out there. Twenty-four. It's pretty decent. A hundred. I mean, a hundred and sixteen. Let me see. No, she's still there. Okay. Yeah, because no fast travel. Now I have to go back. But I think it's easier because they appear behind me. As opposed to in front. There you go. I almost feel tempted to just, fro like, see what the extent it, it is. Like, let's say I stand on that hill and just shoot a fire arrow in the middle here. What happens? Okay, I've got another one on this bridge. That's the, that's the one I've been looking for this whole, I think. No. Well, I should mark it either way. Okay. How have I been doing? I mean, okay. In the interest of just a little bit more progress. Man, if I'm playing this game this much, I'm, Tears of the Kingdom is just going to destroy me the first weekend. And you know, here's the thing, because I live in Australia, the game is going to get here, and it's going to get here sooner than 
Well, unless I got the digital copy, but I'm not getting the digital copy. Am I taking work off? Nah, uh, I don't think so. I mean, the thing is, even if I did and I streamed it, it's it's a case of like only the Americans would be able to watch. I've tried streaming at that hour, and it, for some reason, it just doesn't work. I don't know why. Like, say, you know, the opposite. I guess maybe because. People aren't used to me being live at that time, but... Oh my god. Okay. So, you know, I will do this, and there's one more thing I'm gonna do. I'll play- I'll see. I'll, I'll, it depends how busy work is. If, it's, if I feel like, nah, there's a lot going on, I won't. Because it's not a big deal to wait until the afternoon, anyway. I will get that Korok so then I don't forget. The one where I need the horse. Wago Kata. Yeah, I mean that that's all that's all well and good. This. Oh, it's like roughly here. Is this? No, it's directly on the. Alright, just a sec. I'm lining this up. That'll do. Okay. I'm sure this this puzzle is is great, but. Oh shit. I, I messed it up. Come back down! That was so weird, they didn't latch on properly. Is enough. Just needs to be smack bang in the middle. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Done. I'm sure there's another way to do this. That was resourcefulness. That's why I need more Octorok balloons, it's just for that. There's some that you can just <sighs> skip all the puzzle and just jump straight to the end. To be fair, I don't think this one was that hard. <laughs> I think all I had to do to solve it was just stack them on top of one another and move them. It's not that big a deal, but that would have taken a few minutes. Okay, uh, let me get the horse real quick. Oh. Ah. 
perfect horse. Oh. Oh, oh. Headed the right way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just have to make sure. Yeah. Oh, see, it's already too late. <laughs> They're already knocked out. That's where we're headed this way. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. We're somewhere along here. Here? No, this is something else. Hmm, interesting. I wonder. It's definitely around here, I just... I don't remember where. Okay, it's not here. Oh no, there it is! Ugh, I'm blind. <laughs> it's here. Yeah, these, this is what I was looking for. Okay. Why? There we go. Good. I had to get that, otherwise I was going to forget. Yeah. That's one of those ones that you can't really remember because there's nothing on the map that shows you that it's there. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, there's a 
Cork, yeah. Damn. Hopefully I don't get punished for getting that one. As long as they don't turn around... Okay, we're fine. I might not be able to do this one. Yeah, I can't do this one. I only have one arrow. It would have been 120. <laughs> would have been a nice number to earn, end on, but I'll just get to the stable. Yeah, look, you don't want to go any further. That's fine. There's Beetle here. You are indeed. Hey. You want another beetle? Yeah. Sure. It's a good one. Okay, you know what? I may as well do this. It's just here. stupid. That's in the river as well. Ah! I'm so impatient. What do you mean that missed? Okay, well, I got that one. Oh my god, I'm throwing this so hard. No! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go look in the water. I have to. That's too many arrows I've lost. Hundred and twenty. This is a lost cause, isn't it? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I need to aim better next time. I sound tired, do I? Well, this is where it's going to end anyway, chat. So I am going to get some rest, but I do hope you enjoyed the stream. Appreciate everyone uh, hanging out tonight, and uh, yeah, it's good times. So, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll continue more of this, and uh, we'll do more across the weekend, so should be good. I am uploading these pretty much right away, so 
if you've missed out on some of the stuff, uh, they are up on YouTube, the first four parts, I think, now. So, these will be up tomorrow, whatever happened today. So, I'll just, uh, I'll make time for it. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and, uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, consider the subscription algorithm fun stuff if you want to support. But otherwise, all good. Thanks for watching till the end.